My Groove. File number Crunchy Bottom Epsilon-14 Part 2. Hot on the trail of the late Julio Blanco, the agents find themselves on a curiously deserted street corner near the outskirts of Pamplona. Okay, here we are, 1313 Avenue of the Dead. Now, this whole thing is very Scooby-Doo. I know, I wouldn't be surprised if through that door we found Velma, Daphne, and that blonde guy all strapped to chairs. Julio? Who are you? I am a secret that must be kept. You're safe with us. Secret is part of our title. I am Margarita Blanco. Julio's twin sister. Shh. It is not safe here on the streets. Follow me. What seemed to be a tiny, unassuming home turns out to be El Tango A Go Go, the hottest underground dance club in all of Spain. I thought you were... Kidnapped forever? So does the world. But I am alive. I was raised by nuns who found me in the sewer. What were you doing in the sewer? What were nuns doing in the sewer? It is not pretty, but I shall fill you in on the stained history of the Blanco family. When my brother Julio and I were only six years old, my father, a bullfighter, died as a result of mad bull disease. I never heard of that. It's when a bull goes mad and kills you just for the heck of it. The tragedy was seized by the press, and the family became famous. They used the spotlight of pity to make a living and formed a family band, Los Seis Blancos. Julio and I sang lead, and our four brothers were the backup. Tell me more. The night before our first big concert in the arena, Julio came to me and said our big brothers were planning to kill one of us. Because the family needed another tragedy to make a big splash. Exactly. It became clear that show business was going to destroy my family. I knew that I must do something to save us. If they wanted a tragedy, I would give them one. I made a ransom note and then snuck away through a drainage pipe beneath the arena. It led me into the sewers. Ah, so that's what you're doing in the sewers. Yes, and that's where I was rescued by the sisters of the Immaculate Sewers of Pamplona. Ah, so that's what nuns were doing in the sewers. My kidnapping made global headlines and Los Seis Blancos quickly became... Los Cinco Blancos. With the cute little prepubescent Julio in the spotlight, the band became a pop music sensation overnight. I believe the family have killed Julio in order to cash in for the third time on the myth of the family curse. Do you really think they'd be able to kill him? Oh, yes. He was a selfish boy who grew to be unnaturally pretty for a man. Oh. Most people would want to kill him. Like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, but for different reasons. We have to get into that house and find out what's going on. You cannot go there. It's dangerous. Too dangerous. Yeah, well, danger comes with the job. Agent number two goes deep undercover as a reverend, hip, young Hollywood post slacker, A-list director, Trey Stone. Buenos dias. I am Hector, Julio's oldest brother. Hey, man. I'm going to make this funeral the biggest pay-per-view event of the season. Oh, yeah? Sorry about your brother. Yeah, he is okay. Follow me. While agent number two distracts the family, agent number one listens in on his hypersensitive vibrophonic macroscopic earpiece. These are Julio's other brothers, Juan, Jose, and Germain. And this is Madre Blanco. I, oh, oh, my God. You are so sassy. You are the director for my son's big funeral? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love you. Using his state-of-the-art sharper image divining rod, agent number one discovers the hidden pipeline that supplied Julio's miracle tears. Hmm. You want something to drink? So sangria? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, I must try to maintain my strength. It's so sad to lose a thing. I mean, a son like Julio. I'm sure it's, uh, totally devastating. But... Tell me this. Will you be providing hair and makeup for the show? I, I mean the funeral. Bingo. Hidden headquarters for the Familia Blanco. So, we'll have altar boys, you know, incense, 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 creating a soft focus effect for teary-eyed close-ups of aging celebs whose faces have seen more knife action than tuna at an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. You know what I'm saying, Hector? <laughs> Melanie Griffith. <laughs> but what about when Julio miraculously appeared? What? I mean, what if a miracle were to occur and Julio appears? All of a sudden. Hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm. I get it. Kill a superstar. 
create a megastar. Get out of the house, now. So, yeah. Uh, that's perfect. Then everyone cries, you walk down the aisle, I yell cut, we all go home, the check is in the mail. What? What about my closet? We'll take care of that tomorrow. Get lots of rest, drink some hot tea and madre. Little wax job on the upper lip, okay? Gotta run, manana. Hector, show him out. Rendezvous at the front gate. Wait till you hear what I found out. Adios. Yeah, adios. So, how did I do? You sucked, but it don't matter. Because that guy, he was a fake. Shall we kill him? No. We won't need to. I have a better idea. Knock, knock. Who's there? Julio. He's alive? Yes. Peters! Peters! Tabanet! Not him. Him. He come into my house. He come in under false pretenses. He want to ruin the name of Julio Blanco. For all I know, he killed my son. Get him! 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 You know what? These people are going to kill us. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa.